So this is Angus's new Lang Crip Spray on his brand new uh, T234 Voucher. Oh, it's a lovely bit of kit. Now his old one was a Lang Crip and uh, we've got the old type booms that fold up around the side of the cab. This one obviously a lot more compact, a lot better weight distribution because it all folds vertically on the back. Some machine, 24 meter booms. That's oh, a lovely sort of folding arrangement so that it folds up so nice and compactly. What a sprayer, it's, uh, it's got four nozzle section control, run off the tractor air system. Obviously uh, tractor is 60k so it's a really mobile outfit. Wash down on it. You got all flow controls on all the on all the rams, so you can adjust the speed if you want. Obviously, LED lights up important. Flashing lights. What a rig! This is <coughs> you know sort of um, you know you've had the self-propelled for a long time. You know, leading the the you know leading the leading the field with you know technology. Then the trail ones. They've sort of got up to the same spec as the self-propelled. Well now these mounted ones, they've joined that level as well. Not to say, four nozzle, you can actually add single nozzle section control on it. Automatic. You've got the uh, blue spray lights on it. That's <laughs> such a such a nice bit of kit. So yeah, it's got all the spec that you can get out of a um, you know, out of a full spec self-propelled but you haven't then paid for a you know, 200, 250,000, 200,000 for a vehicle that can only spray this can be dropped off and Angus has still got a 60k 230 horsepower tractor that he can do other work with so you're getting like the best of both worlds you're getting all the spec but you're getting the flexibility as well of having a tractor that can do other stuff. So we've got the chemical bowl in here, nicely tucked away, got your instructions there, all quite simple, big, <laughs> big, big valves. Um, so it's all quite simple, so that just falls down like that. There you go, you can put your chemical in there, put that back in there, so just nice and simple. 
be here, you might be saying you haven't got the capacity that you've got with a self-propelled, but you know, that's a 2,000 litre tank. But, you know, you say your average self-propelled is 4,000 litres, which is front linkage. You can get another, I think a 1,900 litre tank on the front, so you're essentially a 4,000 litre machine. And again, it just hooks on like a front weight. You have a, um, a transfer pipe goes from front to back, just threaded through the chassis, stays on there permanently. Plug your electrics in, fish wash it away. So then you, with a front tank, you're 4,000 litres. You are, you know, essentially up the, the same capacity as your, you know, your average self-propelled. So I really think, you know, outfits like this now, especially say if you had the front tank on, really are a strong competitor to uh, self-propelled and of course trailed. I mean, the thing with trailed is, you know, you're dragging it about. Yes, you can get um, powered axles. Langford themselves actually offer a trailed spray up with a driven axle. So you get around, but it's, you know, it's a lot of money. But this, obviously, you're carrying it a bit like a self-propelled, all on your driven axles. So, um, you know, it's just a, just a simple way to go about it, like, like you say, you know, it's about 50 grand, roughly, for that sprayer with a front tank. And like I say, what are you talking for a self-propelled? 200 grand? Probably more, two or 300? But it's just a sprayer. But that ain't. That's a 60k, 230 horsepower tractor. It's, for me, it's a no-brainer, do you know what I mean? And what a tractor. What a tractor. It's a Voucher Unlimited. Oh, I was incorrect. It's a T235. and devil she is. Oh, such a nice place to sit these are. Well I've said before I am a bit of a fan of the Voucher. Now she is only a 34 hour old tractor. She's, she's basically browners. So you've got the new A pillar um, display dash there. All your information on there. Nice and simple. This one is actually spec with two two screens as well. So you've got the option of you know they're both isobus, they're both GPS. So you can um, you know you can run one screen as the as the, uh, as the isobus to control the machine. The other one uh, is your GPS or as a camera. Um, I don't think there's any cameras on this sprayer but like you know if you've got the trailer on or whatever you can um you can have the spray you know you can have the camera on so so yeah that's the sprayer screen on the ISO bus so you can adjust all your stuff there you can do it manually as well you got uh, all your sections there so you just um knock that over to turn your suctions on and off but of course like I say it's full section control on RTK so it's a really accurate system like but uh, there's all your folding uh, for the booms but uh, yeah I mean so I did have a go in the old T234 um, and she, nice tractor 60k um, full power shift these ones uh, Angus refers to power shift on them um, over the CVTs um, but uh, yeah, I think we'll have to have a bit more of a closer look, a bit of a drive on this when we get to uh, doing a bit of work. But uh, yeah, no, it's a nice sprayer that is. Very nice sprayer. Like I say, spec of a self-propelled on a mounted. Um, really is, I think, the way forward. So you've got all your controls down here on the armrests. Your four spools you can adjust. Uh, you've got your auto steer and your stereo controls and all that in there. Um, rear hitch there, you've got a couple of spools there on the joystick and uh, then you've got your main joystick there with your rear hitch up and down your gears up and down, forward reverse, a couple more spools, some memory buttons So there you go, what do you think to her? She is so outfit, she? Um, what do you think to the colour as well? I like it, it's like a dark bronzy brown colour, looks really nice with the 
black wheels like. Certainly a nice tractor and I think we'll have to, like I say, we'll have to have a go with her in a bit of anger and see what she's like. Suspended front axle on her. I think that's half the reason these are so comfy on the road. They really are. They've always been renowned for the comfort of the old vouchers. Um, but if that, you know, that T234 I had to go in, or was it last year, year before, and it go by, these new ones are just in a different league. Really are. But uh, there you go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little vid. I say, put, uh, uh, if you want to see this outfit working in the field, let me know and I'll come and film it. Um, I think it'll be quite impressive. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that vid. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!